Welcome to Kennedy Now, a regular look inside activities and progress at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida and by KSE teams around the country. Three, two, one, main engine start, ignition and liftoff. Maven flew into space aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket on November 18th to cap a flawless launch campaign by NASA's Launch Services Program. Teams of engineers and technicians spent months preparing the MAVEN orbiter for a daunting 10-month journey from Earth to Mars. MAVEN will orbit the red planet for at least a year, taking detailed readings about the upper atmosphere to show scientists unprecedented details about the planet's ancient air. Engineers soon will begin preparation for NASA's next mission, the launch of the TDRS-L communications satellite. TDRS-L will be the newest member of the agency's critical network of satellites that communicates with the International Space Station, the Hubble Space Telescope, and a host of NASA's scientific observatories. Launch preparations for another landmark mission continued to pick up pace at Kennedy. The first Orion spacecraft is being readied for an uncrewed test flight that will evaluate the heat shield for use on missions returning astronauts from deep space. That heat shield arrived at Kennedy on December 5th and was taken to a processing area where specialists will attach it to the bottom of the Orion. Launch of the test flight is slated for next year on a mission that will send the spacecraft 3,600 miles above Earth, setting up a searing plunge through the atmosphere to simulate the forces it will encounter coming back from an asteroid. NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden and Kennedy Director Bob Cabana, both former astronauts, took a look at some of the hardware under construction for the Orion mission. The agency's commercial crew program based at Kennedy moved within sight of its ultimate objective. It issued a request for proposals from the aerospace industry for a commercial space transportation system that will fly crews into orbit and to the International Space Station in 2017. The request? which will result in a contract next year, builds on the significant design and development work NASA and its partners have been involved in for more than three years. While the proposals are considered, CCP partners continue their development of numerous systems that will make up their spacecraft. Blue Origin test-fired its BE-3 engine. The hydrogen-fueled engine is seen as a power plant for a booster the company is designing to lift Blue Origin's space vehicle into space. Meanwhile, Sierra Nevada Corporation and SpaceX also recently achieved safety review milestones. This has been Kennedy Now, 